That is what luckily I witnessed growing up. I witnessed equal partnership. And just to answer Gilbert Arenas's point, a man should never be intimidated by a woman's intelligence. If he is intimidated, then that is probably not the type of man you want. What's up, y'all? So Shannon Sharp, Gilbert Arenas, and Ocho Cinco, they have a podcast, I guess, online uh, where they talk about different topics. And so Shannon was uh, speaking on his very viral uh, interview that he just did with Amanda Seals. Everyone's talking about it. Uh, many people felt like he was kind of dismissive with her, particularly when she talked about her experiences with racism growing up, when she talked about her autism uh, spectrum disorder diagnosis. In fact, she even just commented on that and said that she felt like she just wasn't heard during that interview. Uh, and what he said about racism, where he said children couldn't be racist, they can very much be racist. In fact, that's probably why racism is still here, because it passes on generation to generation. But, you know, he just wanted to address, I guess, some of the backlash he has been receiving. So, but he said that, you know, he respects Amanda. He uh, looks at her as being extremely intelligent, which she is, and uh, being funny, being talented, etc. So when he said that, Ocho Cinco then kind of chimed in and said, well, is she married? Because she sounds like she's a good catch. Now, of course, you know, the whole is she married piece, you know, she's a woman of a certain age. So a lot of times women are often asked that question. But Ocho Cinco was really just trying to say that, you know, he looks at her like, you know, she probably is a good catch. Now, Gilbert Arenas, he was getting all kind of excited once Ocho Cinco mentioned the whole married piece. Obviously, he wanted to put his two cents in. And now when he heard Ocho say that Amanda would be a good catch because of the qualities that Shannon mentioned, smart, talented, funny, Gilbert Arenas then said, and it took me aback where he said, well, he looks at that as a flaw. And I'm like, wait a minute, <laughs> a flaw. But he then explained that it's a flaw because he feels that if she's too intelligent, then a man may feel like he's or she's talking down on him. And if she gets a man that is more intelligent than her, then she will feel like the man is looking down on her. And there was just a lot of issues with what he said. It, it came off one, like it was male focused. It was all about how a man would feel dealing with an intelligent woman. And it took out the, the equation of to me, just equal partnership. Why is equality, equal partnership a bad word now? And when you look at the comments with this particular part of the conversation, a lot of women were like, wow, is this where we are now? You know, is this how men are thinking? And I have to say for me, in my experience with men growing up, my village of people who helped raise me, the men were very supportive of the women in their lives. They encourage their intelligence. They encourage their talents. So that is what luckily I witnessed growing up. I witnessed equal partnership. And just to answer Gilbert Arenas's point, a man should never be intimidated by a woman's intelligence. If he is intimidated, then that is probably not the type of man you want. Uh, you want a partner who could lovingly challenge you on certain topics and then lovingly support you. And intelligence really is a spectrum. Sometimes you're smart in this one thing and not so smart in another. So you want a partner who can talk with you about just about anything. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with equal partnership. And I'll just have to say to the women out there, there are men out here who will absolutely support you. I have friends who are in loving uh, marriages or partnerships with men who encourage their intelligence. Gilbert Arenas was out of pocket to me with that statement that she is flawed for having intelligence or for having talent or for being funny. There is a man out there for her if that is what she wants. She may not want a committed relationship. That's a whole other uh, topic to discuss, the assumption that a woman is always looking for a committed relationship. Uh, now, I will admit maybe most women are, but that is something you would have to 
ask Amanda if that's even what she wants. There were a lot of assumptions being made during that conversation is my point. But equal partnership, there's nothing wrong with it. And there's nothing wrong with both partners being intelligent and being able to challenge each other again in a loving way and support each other in a loving way. That should never be looked at as a flaw. But that's my two cents. Be sure to share your comments below. I'm Stacey Brewer, and this is H Blue's Word. Peace.